Alright, hello fun and welcome back to my Fallout 4 mini-series of Attack of the Lobotomites, where today we are right we left off in the last episode in what I guess you could call the hub zone for this mod, and we need to head on over to the living quarters to continue on with our quest here and get the brain password from the morgue. Still curious and wondering why in the world the morgue is in the living quarters area, but... Oh well, what are you gonna do? Let's go find out. I'm sure that won't be creepy or anything. Alright, let's head on over and shoot some more lobotomites and hopefully get a little bit more lore for the place. I'm really hoping, hmm. And honestly, off cam, I meant to go back through the area we did last time just to see if I missed any lore. As I'm worried that maybe I did. I'm worried maybe I did, but I don't know. So we'll just have to keep a good eye out for things today. I mean, we did find that one hollow tape, which ended up not being a hollow tape, but was in fact a modification for a proton axe. Which, oh my, I forgot about that too. Did we pick up a broken one of those last time? Huh, let's take a look at that in our inventory real quick. I'm intrigued to see what all it is. I mean, we can't actually modify it until we find a workbench somewhere. Oh, hello, I already see lobotomites. Okay, well, let's go take... Oh, yeah, right up at the top. B. Broken. Yeah, sure. Broken Electrified Proton Axe. Neat. Oh, yeah, got kind of like a little jerry-rig terminal, which I assume is where you put in those uh, modifications into. Well, that's kind of neat looking. I like it. Wow, also pretty powerful. Granted, is it though? Is it? I don't know. I never play with melee weapons, so, um, looks pretty good. <laughs> Damage-wise, I wouldn't want to get hit by that. But, oh well, let's just try and avoiding that. And hello, lobotomite friend. Yep. And he's down. Did he have other friends? Well, none that seemed to care for him. Oh, there's muttering. Never mind, there's more. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna have to find them to shut up the muttering. <laughs> also, why is that icon there? Shouldn't it be? Oh no, there was one there. Wait, oh no. So we've got like an icon there, which is I'm assuming where we're going to, but why is there another door icon over that way? Ha. Worrisome? Nope, I thought that was an arm for a moment. Uh, it's something, I don't know what. Oh, this has a whole other door into the staff rooms. Oh, nifty. We didn't have something like that in the last zone, so I didn't even think about anything like that. All right, let's grab you. You hear the loud muttering. Nuka Quantum, noise. And nothing else really of value. Ah, man. All right, let's go through this door. What do we get? Oh, hello. Well, there's one who's gonna have to die immediately. Hi! Oh, they're just sitting and warming themselves by the fire, but no, well, gotta die. Oh, they were restrained and not actually a threat. They're green. They're green. <laughs> I, I didn't need to kill them, but I did. Didn't realize until it was too late. Oh, well. God, though, with all the muttering and whatnot, I don't care. They need to die. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, they're green. Are you not going to hurt me? Hi, everyone. Oh, you look like you'll hurt me. Squeeny clean. Or squeaky clean. Why do I think that's it's squeeny? <laughs> well, there's the uniquely named one. Why aren't they mad at me? Did I break something? Or are these ones just like passive? Love the bucket on your head. Oh, oh, he's, he's not happy. He's not happy. I mean, he's not angry though. Also that restrained lobotomite is more powerful than the squeaky clean named guy. Huh, I mean, I guess we don't have to kill everyone. Kinda want to though for their loot, especially the squeaky clean guy. And we probably gotta find a. Don't have the card. Yeah, we need a doctor ID card to get into there. Hmm. That might be on squeaky clean. 
Well, I found a hole. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. All right, you know, I didn't check all these down here. So it looks like we've got a number of uh, different ID card readers to open up to places. Ooh, what's this? Someone built themselves a lovely little... Hi, Crazy Marty! Level 620, are you a... Lobotomite vendor? Huh. I feel more I feel more bad about killing those two that I did earlier. Wait, was the guy when we first came in, was he red? I didn't notice. I didn't notice, since we just shot. We didn't use vats. The guy who was... Oh. Yeah, these guys weren't... These guys weren't angry at us. They're friendly lobotomites. <laughs> Whoops, probably shouldn't have killed him. All right, we have waxy business meet the strange lobotomite. Okay, hi. I don't like that bomb being there, but hi, Crazy Marty. Hey, pal, wanna buy some shit? Okay, I guess we can understand his muttering. You okay, buddy? You okay? Pretty freaking far from okay, pal. I was really going to offer you the best deal of your life. Uh huh. Drives. But it seems Dad. I've misplaced his supplies. Not okay. Right. Boy, he's just loud. <laughs> I think I understand. I think I understand. I'll go find the supplies for you. I good. I good. Me from town. Just an honest businessman from Reno. Oh, you're from the West. Reno. I'm a man. Me make life. Trying to make people a living here. Dead here. Problem is, Nobody. business is, here is dead. Me how am I supposed to get Let's buyers? That's some good advertisements. If you can bring me some new painting time. utensils, Dad. I can make Dad. the best ads around. Look, I even made a prototype on how it could look. Creation. 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 How, how we're getting any of this from his screaming, I don't know. But I use up all my crayons in the process. Oh, God, do we have to loot crayons? Yes. I only need one full crayon box to finish my marketing plan. So what do you say, business partner? Okay, sure. Yeah, I'm not clicking either of these. That that screaming's just too annoying, but sure, yeah. Let's also check his trade, though. Crayons? Yeah, crayons. Find a full box of crayons. Okay, hey, you also have a store. <laughs> yes, yes I do. Just show me the store, please. Okay, let's trade. Let's trade. <laughs> Dear God, the screaming. Okay, well, he's got a lot of ammunition, clearly. Uh, let's see, weapons, of course, cosmic knives and such. Ooh, cosmic lance? Well, knife lance. <laughs> Mahogany's baseball bat, lovely. Montas, a lot of modified wet, a lot of modified assault rifles. Holy crap! <laughs> All with night vision, huh? Nifty. All right, just normal. Man, he's got a lot of modified guns. Dang, a lot of recon ones that time. Saturday night power fist. How, how does he have so many assault rifles down here? <laughs> How does this man have so many assault rifles? <laughs> I don't... I don't know. They're just... They're just everywhere. He has so many. A switch between the price slasher. <laughs> oh, lovely. Alright, and some of those bells. Lamenter's bells. Alright, apparel. Of course, the usual stuff we'd see, like metal and such, but we do also have some uh, lobotomite things, like surgical gowns, tinfoil hats, ooh. <laughs> Trash samurai hat, oh my god. <laughs> uh, weird. Yeah, let's have some aid items, though. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Am I going to need an empty crayon box and then get all the crayons I've been finding on lobotomite bodies and then craft it somewhere? Is that how this works? Is that how this is going to work? 
I know we're in empty crayon boxes, though, so I'm not going to buy it. But, um... Yeah, I have a feeling that's how it works. <laughs> and that's a lot of junk. Does he have crayons in here? He does not appear to. Uh, Mega Wolfenite. <laughs> a lot of Saturnite stuff. Shipments. Shipments of Mega Wolfenite. Ooh, nifty. And Saturnite. Nice. All right. Well, I'm out. Oh, look, all of, all of his store wares. And surprise, oh, never mind. That was not steel, but that is. Weird. Oh, I kind of feel bad about killing those two lobotomites that I did now, uh, considering they seem okay, but... All right. <laughs> Find a full box of crayons. Hold on, let's turn off the other things. It just it just brings us back to him. Okay, okay. Well, we'll stick with this for now. God, I guess I should start looting crayons from bodies. Oh no. Oh, hey, we got workbenches. Ah, oh, nice. Okay, okay. You know, pardon me, pardon me, restrain the bottom line. I need to check here real quick. I'm in combat. Probably because we shot one of them that I shouldn't have. I feel bad about that still. <laughs> I didn't, you know, the first guy we saw, I didn't even check. I just shot because, you know, lobotomites. Oh, uh, <laughs> well, we got off the, oh, yep, he's off the workbench. Lovely. Oh, yeah, but I'm still in combat, even though there's no red. Sweet, 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 sweet. But yeah, I shot the first guy. I just had a habit. And then the second one, I just didn't even pay attention to the fact that he had green. All systems nominal. Oh. What? That restrained lobotomite is invisible. What the hell? <laughs> okay, something's more broken. Oh no. Bathroom, okay. Reporting status. All okay. functions normal. Those are restrained lobotomites, but with synth speeches. Oh no. Yeah, I think I messed up somewhere. Ooh. It's the only one that has a terminal. Load patient files on Carrara. Alma Carrara. Female mental psychotic breakdown, paranoid hysteria. Miss Alma Carrara was admitted to Braintree Mental Rehabilitation Center on that date following a severe mental psychotic breakdown accompanied by symptoms of paranoid hysteria. According to preliminary assessments, Miss Carrara has a history of intermittent anxiety and depressive symptoms, which escalated in severity over the week previous to her admission. Presenting system uh, symptoms upon admission, Miss Carrara presented with acute paranoia, delusions of persecution, the auditory hallucin and auditory hallucinations. She exhibited signs of extreme distress, agitation, and impaired reality testing. These symptoms were accompanied by disorganized speech and behavior, indicative of a severe psychotic episode. She believes the administrator is somehow responsible for her admission. Treatment plan, Ms. Carrara has been placed under close observation in a controlled environment to ensure her safety and that of others. She has been prescribed Calmex to alleviate acute anxiety and facilitate a reduction in psychotic symptoms. Regular psychiatric evaluations and therapy sessions are scheduled to monitor her progress and adjust treatment interventions accordingly. Visitation policy for the safety and well-being of both the patient and staff. Visitation privileges are restricted to Administrator Noah Mathers, uh, the asshole, and selected staff members only. This measure is in place to minimize potential triggers to Ms. Carrara's symptoms and maintain a therapeutic environment conducive to her recovery. Alright. Mm -hmm. well, no corpse in there. And a hole, so she might have escaped. All right, hold on, hold on, open, nope. Let's go over to the side. We do have another one that's open over this way. Ah, it was just more connected. Oh, hey, we finally found the red. Hi, red. <laughs> Where the hell am I going to get to those from? Oh, yeah, there was the other door over that way. <laughs> I kind of made my way in here and just kind of forgot about the other route that exists. Boy, I'm still I'm still very sad about killing those guys. I I I made mistakes. <laughs> oh well, the rest don't seem angry, so let's just roll this direction. 
Mmm, dead raider. Oh, we got another terminal here. Gas control terminal. No way I'm cracking this. Oh. If I do this, will it gas everyone in here? Because I don't want to gas the merchant dude. Oh, that's still just advanced terminals. So, nope, we can't, because that's expert. Okay, well, never mind. We won't be gassing anyone anyways. All right, well, up we go. Ooh, or there's gas in here from the looks of that haze. Oh, no. Am I gonna... Am I gonna start hallucinating in here? <laughs> All right, there's lobotomites who gotta die. Fire. Get him. This poor guy was just fixing a, a barrel. Yeah. I mean, he was red at least, so I don't feel bad about that one. All right. Yeah. That one's down. Oh, God, what about a rocket launcher? And grenades, and they have grenades. Oh, because that's a unique one. Ooh, deaf, eh? Wow, that was some, uh, <laughs> that was some vibration there with whatever moaning we just heard. All right, all right, all right. We got apparently some more red down below. Uh. Hello, Def. How are you? All right, let's get that in. Uh. Oh! <laughs> I was not paying attention to my health in the slightest. Oh, whoops. Oh, no. Well, we would have had a quick save, or not a quick save, but an auto save right after buying that point. Sweet. So since we took that perk, that's just saved our butt. Uh, as I was just thinking to myself, oh no, do I gotta talk to the merchant dude again? No, we're good, we're good. Boy, I really need to pay attention to my health. <laughs> uh, I mean, the worst part is, is, since I decided to use a weaker weapon, I'm just so used to killing things quick that I'd never really think to look at my health, because stuff usually dies. <laughs> but... Alright, let's do this a little bit more quietly. And by quiet, I mean blow his head off with a Gauss rifle. Oh, I missed that one. There we go. Where's this deaf person? Well, there they are. That one's down. You know, these ones kind of remind me of, uh... Like the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles live action movie, the Foot Clan. Well, at least the others did, not Def there. Oh, you stopped. How dare you stop? Oh, yes, please take cover. And of course. You... Wow, I'm missing all the shots. Why'd you go down? No. Alright, alright. Well, I mean, I'm gonna throw some Molotovs down. <sighs> of course it hit the corner. Of course it hit the corner. <laughs> Just check a few down. Well, I don't know what I just exploded, but I exploded something. <clears throat> oh. Oh, okay, and I'm dying slowly? No, we're good, we're good, we're good. Burrow expl Okay, no, there's something hurting me. Do we have some sort of special status effect on us? No, no, no. Hmm. Oh, well, there's death again. Thank you. Oh, they're emanating a toxic mist. I just saw that up in the corner. I missed that before. All right, well, they're dead now. Oh, God, I'm about to die. <laughs> the toxic mist again. That's what killed me before. Oh, holy crap. Okay. Okay. We good? We good? Still going down. Oh, well, okay, okay, it stopped going down. That's what got me before. They had a, they were emanating a toxic mist. Oh, holy crap. All right. All right, there we go. There's the that eliminator. Yeah, you know, I think it's the headbands that are making me think of the Foot Clan from that old movie. <laughs> it's all them in here. It seemed to have these red headbands. 
Oh, there was a music sting that I probably should have heard earlier. <laughs> oh, I don't think I want to go down into that mist. That seems like an awful plan, but there's still a lobotomite down there, I believe. Oh, the gas! No, 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 no. Okay, okay. Hmm. Well, that's not good. How are we going to deal with that place? I mean... Clearly you... But I don't have expert. I don't have expert. Boy, how are we going to deal with this place? Hmm. Yeah, and that must have been what killed me. I was about to say, I was like, I didn't think I was getting hit by that powerful of weapons from them. But nope, a poison gas that did me in. Alright, let's quick save. Yeah. No, oh, and they're. It's, it's killing me. It's killing me. Is there anywhere safe? Oh, God, you're alive! And I'm about to die. Okay, okay, more stims. Hi, Gimp, please die. And you're dead. All right, so am I just continuously dying in here? Yeah, I think I'm in a safe spot now. Never mind, never mind. Okay, yeah, and it's still, it's still going bad. Okay, okay, let's grab the thing. Grab the, okay. We're gonna play that straight away. And of course, of course, it did this again where it's just all green. Frank leads terminal. Oh my god, we gotta look at that in a moment here, too. Okay, but first, but first, but first. Nope, we're. Even though it says miscellaneous, we're definitely in the aid category. <laughs> uh, so it would have been this one? Yeah. He has password generator. Hello, Frank. Your password today is Paper Crane. Have a nice day. All right, cool. Let's look at poor Frank's terminal here. <laughs> Corrupted. Oh, and same corruption message. All right, personal intramail. Frank leads IT to Emily Riley, Administrative Office. I hope this email finds you well. Ah, that usual corporate lead-in. After, letter con after careful consideration and review of recent incidents, it is with regret that I must inform you of our de decision to terminate your employment with BMRC, effective immediately. Uh, as an integral part of our team, it is essential that all interactions with co colleagues, including the administrator, remain professional and respectful at all times. Your recent conduct, particularly in relation to the administrator, has fallen short of the standards we expect from our employees. We appreciate the contributions you have made during your tenure with us, and we wish you the best in your future endeavors. Please arrange to return any company property, including access badges, key cards, and electronic devices to the HR department at your earliest convenience. Should you have any questions or require the further clarification, please do not hesitate to contact me or a member of the HR team. Yeah, you know, Frank probably took that as a wonderful thing, considering how shit the administrator is. Okay. Poor Frank. Had to deal with that BS. God, and we gotta get out of here somehow without dying. So we're in the morgue, eh? What's the rest of that place? It was literally out there. Is that like the living quarters, living quarters? With literally right in here being the morgue? Because that's what it really seems like. I mean, I don't want to go out there because of the gas. Oh no. But I need a loot. Oh god, there goes my health again. Okay, so we can't see the gas anywhere, can we? It's like right over here seems fine, but over there not so much. I was hoping we could see it from the mist. Oh, maybe I can see it better without my light on. No, I don't see any mist there. Definitely mist there, though. You know what? Oh, yep. Go, 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 go. Don't need that. Where's the... There we go. Okay, we got you. I kind of want Death's Mask. Oh, God, please. I didn't, I didn't quick save before this. Let's just jump out there real quick. There we go. I want the mask. I couldn't care less about the missile launcher. Uh, granted, what's the missile launcher? Mighty? 25% more damage? Ooh. <laughs> All right. I need more. Oh, whoop. I was already there. More stims. 
go check up this way. Yeah. Oh, that's a lot of the gas. Is there a is there a container up here? A end of dungeon chest. There does not seem to be. That is unfortunate. And I'm dying. Well, there went that body. Oh, that was an actual still alive lobotomite. Cool, 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 cool. Well, I'm out. <laughs> this place is awful. <laughs> I think a lobotomite might be chasing me though. Yep, yeah, there he is. There he is. Slasher too. Well, time to die, Slasher. There we go. Yeah, I kind of want to come back here at some point when we have another get another perk point, so that I can uh, turn off that gas because I would like to look down there more. There might be, there might be lore. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that looks like living quarters, but full of gas everywhere. The hell, and a weird little creepy graveyard. Why are their living quarters literally below the morgue? Ugh. All right, I'm out. We got the password. <laughs> I mean, we could go straight through staff, but now let's go back to the um, let's go back to the hub zone. God, I guess I gotta find him crayons. <laughs> Where am I gonna find those crayons? I again, I have a feeling, but wait, I didn't see a chemistry bench in there. I have a feeling that that's going to be made of the chemistry bench. We're going to have to find all the different crayons and an empty crown box and put it all together. So far, we have not seen actually any full boxes. I don't know for sure. But again, I haven't seen a, a chemistry bench in a while. You know, was there one upstairs? I think the crown box I'm remembering was back here, right? Yeah, there's one. Okay, I'm going to take these these crayons that are right there. Take you. How did I not loot you before? <laughs> all right, all right. You know what? I want to check upstairs real quick to see if there's a... Why did we just get a music sting? Why did we just get a music sting? <laughs> just want to check to see if there is a... Uh... Oh, God, I almost fell. If there's a chemistry workbench upstairs that I maybe forgot existed... Also, we might be able to find more crayons up here. No, I don't think there was. So yeah, how are we gonna, how are we gonna find these crayons we need? Again, I'm still making an assumption here that we have to combine them all at like a chemistry bench. That is my assumption. But there might be a full box somewhere, perhaps? I don't know. Do you have any? Took it. Huh. Yeah, well, hmm. We'll have to figure that out at some point. <laughs> but, alright, I think that's going to be a good place to, for us to end the day today. Because, well... We're in like 28 minutes. And in the next episode, we'll head into the next area. Which actually, which one is the next area? Uh, it was you, former complaint... What do we have? Yeah, it was this one. Okay, so yeah, first power area in there. Then workstation and morgue. Then I have to get the admin key card that you insisted that I couldn't be trusted with and give it to your shitty guards in the staff room. Okay, okay, okay. So staff room next, which we could have gone into from the area we were just in. <laughs> Oh well, oh well. That shall be next time. So hopefully you all have enjoyed this one today. And you come back for the next one. Maybe, maybe I'll have figured out the crown situation. I don't know. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always, we'll have a good one.